This is seriously a roller coaster. I am still getting my head around Meta's Llama 3.1 and you have seen that we have already done 4 to 5 videos on Meta Llama 3.1 and we have barely scratched the surface of that amazing model. And now as I was just looking through um, my mail this morning as I woke up in Sydney I saw that Mistral has dropped Mistral Large 2. And this model has already beaten Llama 3.1 on various benchmarks. In this video, I'm going to give you whatever you need to know about the um, salient features of this really amazing model, it seems. And then in the next video, which I'm still working on, we will be actually implementing it with the help of a few of the API calls. And I'm thinking of doing it through Amazon Bedrock, but we'll get to it in the next video. For this video, let's try to see what exactly this model is and why I think this could be a real contender to Meta's flagship Llama models. So this model is 123 billion parameter model and it has beaten Llama 3.1 405 billion parameter model more than double its size which is quite amazing. If you look at few of the benchmarks something like this you will be surprised to see that on average it has performed 74.4 percent whereas Llama 3.1 is 73.4 percent and our friend GPT 4.0 has beaten both of them so we have to remember that GPT 4.0 is still world's number one model if you combine both open source and closed source models but anyway beating Llama 3.1 405 billion is not a small feat I would say okay and then if you look at other stuff especially in the programming and coding scenario the performance looks quite good especially in Java and also in C sharp it has performed quite well uh, I'm surprised to see I couldn't see Python here so I would really love to see how it perform performs on Python but anyway so other than that it is natively multilingual it supports a lot of um, languages like French, German, Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, Arabic, Hindi, Russian, Chinese, Japanese and Korean. Also it supports 80 plus coding languages Java, C, C++ and Python too but we don't see the benchmarks here but no problem. This Mistral Large 2 is designed for single node inference with long context application in mind. So this is a very very important point. If you are looking to install it locally, you cannot install it on multi node cluster. You would have to install it on single node and that single node must have more than 300 GB of VRAM. So it means that you would at least need 8 GPUs. I don't have it of course um, unless you know some of you just uh, blindly drop me uh, a machine with 8 uh, GPU VRAM with 300 uh, VRAM. So if somehow you have access to it you can only run it on one node that is a very very main point <clears throat> and according to them it improves performance and reduces the latency when it comes to the inference. Now I believe the best way of using these sort of model is through API call and that is what we are going to do in our next video. So they have released this Mistral Large 2 model under the Mistral research license that allows usage and modification for research and non-commercial usages. For commercial purposes of Mistral Large 2 you require uh, which requires self-deployment you would need a Mistral commercial license so and you would need to contact them through their contact page from this website and I will drop the link to it in video's description. And if you are following my channel you know that I already have covered Mistral the other coding model Code Stroll and Code Stroll Mamba and they have trained this Mistral Large 2 on a very large proportion of code and that is how, why its performance on coding benchmarks is really amazing. Also they have done its evaluation of these benchmarks like Human Eval and few others and you see that on um, most of the benchmarks its performance is quite good the orange one is uh, Mistral Large 2 and you see that mainly on human eval it has performed very very well its accuracy is quite good also 
Mr. Lajdu is trained to acknowledge when it cannot find solutions or does not have sufficient information to provide a confident answer. And that is where they are really priding themselves that it is quite accurate, it doesn't hallucinate that much. If it doesn't know anything, it won't make it up. It will just tell you straight up that it doesn't know, which is quite rare for the models these days. Also, they have improved the instruction following and conversational capabilities of Mr. Lodge 2. This new model is particularly better at following precise instructions and handling long multi-ton conversation. And they have shared all the information in their um, paper, which you can check out. Now, other salient features of this model include that it has a very, very good function calling capabilities. It has even beaten Opus 3 on many benchmarks, which is quite amazing. Opus 3 is an uh, Anthropics model, which is also quite good. And other than that, I, as I said, that um, if you compare it to GPT-40 and few other models, it has really performed well on various benchmarks, plus which include Wildbench, Arena Hard, and Empty Bench. Now, this is equipped with enhanced function calling and tool usage and retrieval skills and has undergone training to proficiently execute both parallel and sequential function calling. If you want to download and install it, then you can go to this Hugging Face page. From there, you can simply use these commands. Let me go down and show you to download it. And you would need to use Mistral Inference CLI. And if you don't know what that is, I already have covered it on the channel what Mistral Inference is. But as I said, the real um, thing is the hardware resources. You would need at least 300 GB plus VRAM on single node in order to get this running. But exciting days, very, very uh, excited about it. Just a bit uh, slightly disappointed that I cannot download it and run it locally. But such is life, you can't have everything. Now, where you can run it for the IPA based. So as of now, you can, of course, use this mistral.ai. You can go there. They have their API based functionality. You can, it's a paid option, of course. You would need to pay them. The prices are a bit high uh, for my liking, but still good enough. If you want to use mistral's model from mistral, you can use it after signing up and paying them. Um, other than that, you can use it in Amazon Bedrock, which is AWS's managed service to um, use LLMs through API calls. You can also go to Google Cloud and use the Vertex CI, which is again a managed service and Google's AI service where you can use it in the Vertex AI Studio. Um, if you, but that is slightly, uh, the Google Cloud is, you know, the way it is created, it is slightly bit hard to configure initially and then use. So if you're just looking for a straight up API call in your code, I think that at the moment Mistral and Amazon Bedrock are good option. And in the next video, we will be trying out Amazon Bedrock with Mistral's large two model. So that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this new model. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.